I give you one figure and what will you do? You are going to find the perimeter of the following figures. So, the next question is find, find the perimeter, find the perimeter of these of these figures. So, I am going to give you some figures wherein you are going to find the perimeter of that particular figure. Now, I have for you a, I have for you a square and you are going to find the perimeter of that. Okay, here I have a square for you. So, find the perimeter of this square. So, here you have a square and you are going to find the perimeter of the square. Next, I have for you a triangle. We have a triangle for you. Find the perimeter of this triangle. And finally, you have a rectangle. Finally, I have for you a rectangle. Okay, now here you have three shapes given to you. What are those shapes? You have a square here. And you have a triangle here. And you have given a rectangle for you. So you have a rectangle, square, triangle. You were asked to find the perimeter of these squares. Alright? Now, so you have A a square, you have B, a rectangle and C, a rectangle, B, a triangle and C, a rectangle. Now, we are going to name the points. You have here A, B, C, D. Let's name the points here. Here you have E, F, and G. And these points we name it as O, P, Q, R. Now what is the perimeter? Sum of all the sides of any figure. The sum of all the sides of any figure is a. Now, here we are going to measure A, B. A, B equal to how much? Then C, D, how much we are going to measure? A, C, we are going to measure and B, D. You just had to add them all. Then here, in the triangle, you are going to measure E, F, E, F. Then we are going to measure F, G and E, G. And that will give us the perimeter at all this. Now, in the rectangle, we have four sides and we are going to measure them all. So, we are going to measure O P equal to something. Q R, we are going to measure. Then, you are going to O Q, we are going to measure. Then, P R, 
we are going to measure. Then we are going to add up all that and then it will give us the, when you add up all this, it will give us the perimeter. So, what we get we will add, that will be a perimeter. Huh? When we add what we get, that will be a perimeter. Okay, now let's measure. We'll take the ruler and put the zero on the point. Now, the square we're going to measure. You will put the zero on point A and then at point B you have 13. You have 13 centimeters. Then we measure CD again. 13 centimeters. Sides of all uh, square is all, all four sides are equal. Yes. Again, AC, 13 centimeters. And BD is also 13 centimeters. All sides of a square are equal. Now, to find the perimeter, what is the perimeter? Sum of all the sides. So, we need to add all this, this plus, this plus, all the four sides. When we add, we get the answer. Now, let's add. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. You put 2 here, plus 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, our perimeter is equal to 52 centimeters. This is our answer. Now, in the triangle again, you put at the point E, the 0, and then you look at the other point, see what is it you get? 23. You get here 23 centimeters. Now, EF is 23 and EG is also 23. 23 centimeters. And now we measure EG. Put 0 at one point. It is 12. 12 centimeters. How do we get the perimeter? Now in this triangle, we measured EF. EF is 23 centimeters. Now we measure E G that's equal to again 23 centimeters and finally we measure F G. F G equal to put 0 at F and you get 12. You get 12 centimeters and to find the perimeter of the triangle is the sum of all the sides. That's 23 plus 23 plus 12. That is EF, measure EF plus EG plus FG. That gives us the total. So you must add these. You add all this will give us the perimeter of the triangle. Now. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Then 2 plus 2, 4 and 1, 5. So 58. So your answer is 58. Okay. So you have 58 centimeters as a perimeter. 58 centimeters. That is our answer. All right. Now going to the last figure that is the perimeter of a rectangle, you will measure first OP. In rectangle, opposite sides are equal. Put the 
ruler 0 on O and you get 21. OP measures 21 centimeters. Now the opposite side is QR. Again QR also measures 21 centimeters. Now we go to OQ. Put 0 on O and that is 9 centimeters. And now we measure PR. PR is also 9 centimeters because in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal. Now what are we going to do? We are going to add OP plus QR plus OQ plus PR. What is the total we are going to see? Now, 9 plus 9, 18, 19, 20. So we get 0 in the ones place. Then we have 2. You must put plus 2 here. Okay. Now, 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. So, we have 60. 60 centimeters is the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay. Let's look at it again. What is perimeter? The sum of all the four sides of any figure is called a perimeter. So, you have AB equal to 29 centimeters. CD is equal to 29 AC is equal to 13 centimeters, BD 13 centimeters. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. When you add up, you get 84 centimeters. Now, therefore, 84 is the answer. 84 centimeters is the perimeter of this rectangle. Now, find the perimeter of this 1, 2, 3 figures. First, we have a square. All the sides of a square are equal. So, you get AB 13 centimeters, CD 13 centimeters, AC, BD all same. When you add a poly, you get 52 centimeters. Perimeter of a square is 52 centimeters here. Now we look at the triangle. The triangle to find the perimeter is add up all the three sides. Now EF, you have 23 centimeters. EG, you have 23 centimeters. FG, you have 12. When we add up all, the perimeter of a triangle is 58 centimeters. Finally, we have a rectangle. The opposite sides are equal. OP is 21 centimeters. QR is also 20, um, 21 centimeters. Now we measure OQ, which is 9 centimeters, and PQ, also 9 centimeters. Opposite sides are equal. When we add up all the four sides of the triangle, rectangle, we get 60 centimeters and that is the perimeter of a rectangle. So, what is the perimeter? The four sides, the sum of all the four sides of any figure.